What's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Vigilante watching the Vigilante Effect. First I'd like to apologize that I'm using my the camera from my phone here. Uh, I don't have a camera on me and uh, I'm driving to work but I just want to put out this video real quickly. So enjoy the view instead of watching my face you can watch the road maybe some sort of entertainment maybe something will happen who knows. Uh, but anyway I wanted to give my input on the presidential debate last night uh, between the United States President Barack Obama and the Republican rival Mitt Romney. Now, to start off, I don't support, I don't, I'm not really leaning towards any of any of the candidates. I, I feel like the candidates this year are not that strong. Um, President Barack Obama, I'm not, in, I'm not in favor of because of his performance in the last four years. I, I was very disappointed by it, especially with foreign policies and the increase in drone strikes. It doesn't, in, it doesn't increase the, uh, the favor of, uh, uh, of or the, the way Americans look in front of other countries, right? We already have bad name uh, in many parts of the world, not just the Middle East, but many parts of the world. And the increase of that will not, you know, it's not helping. And also, I'm definitely not supportive of Mitt Romney because I just feel like he's worse in every way. So it's like, you know, it's basically picking the worst of two evils. In my opinion, you know, you don't have to agree, it's your choice. Uh, but yesterday, last night, it was more focused on domestic policies. and. If I was to talk about from a, perfor a performance perspective, just solely performance on debate, I would say Mitt Romney performed better. You know, he performed, he was a much better debater. And he articulated his words and his emotions and his perspective a lot more clearly than uh, Barack Obama. But, like, like his, uh, uh, his performance against his Republican candidates in the Republican primary, he lacked substance. He did not perform with substance. He did not give any details. He, you know, he would constantly mention, for instance, I'm going to lower taxes, I'm going to lower taxes. But he didn't give details as to how exactly he's going to lower taxes. How are you going to realistically lower taxes and save money and at the same time boost the economy? How is that even possible? Please explain. He wouldn't give the details for that, right? And President Barack Obama, I felt like he was a lot more detailed on his personal policies or, you know, his, uh, his uh, administration's policies. And he gave, he gave details, but he was not as well spoken. Um, there was a lot more enthusiasm in Mitt Romney's voice. You know, he was able to capture the audience, I think, a lot more. Uh, 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 but once Obama came and started speaking, it's like, you know, he would start off very slowly. He would take long pauses, and uh, he just didn't articulate himself very convincingly. But the points that he made, he made a lot of strong points. Um, uh, for instance, there was a there was a point he made about Exxon Mobil in, t in terms of why do we need to have uh, tax cuts for Exxon Mobil? You know, they're rich. They're already. It's it's a very relevant point. You know, if, if why is it that you need to to, to to cut you know cut taxes for the rich when they're already rich? It's like. I don't need to save the money. And of course, the counterpoint would be, oh, because they're going to create more jobs. But come on, who are we BSing here, you know? It's, that, that's not really what happens. You know, it's, it's they, you can already create jobs with what you have. But anyway, um, you know, you can have people that, that, that disagree, but that's the beauty of this country that we can disagree. I'm looking forward to see their debate on the uh, foreign policies especially in light of the events of Turkey and Syria, if you're not familiar, uh, Turkey did not, they did not, uh, uh, they did not declare war against Syria, but what they did was they allowed for, uh, the parliament has recently passed uh, uh, an allowance for the Syrian military to attack Syria in case of, uh, in case of retaliation, right? So that's a step forward, I mean, well, or step backwards, whatever it is, it's definitely a big step in, in terms of Turkey. So that's something I would like to definitely see what, what they're going to be saying on in terms of uh, uh, foreign policies and how they would react to, for instance, uh, situations uh, with regards to the Middle Eastern world and what's been going on lately. That's one thing. Um, but other than that, I feel like the debates, they're not really, in general, they're just, you know, they're, they're, they're just for show and entertainment. You know, even like CNN, the way they present is like Mitt Romney versus Barack Obama, you know, it's like, it's like your 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 Sunday night movie that you're gonna come and watch. You know, it's like the football game you're gonna you're, you're rooting for the Giants, you know, or the Jets or whatever it is. You know, it's like 
it's not like you're going there to vote for an actual president that's going to run this country. You're, you're going there so you can see how entertaining one debater is going to be against another. And I don't know. I feel like that's a, that's a sad situation for us, you know. But anyway, it's been Vigilante. I hope you guys enjoyed. You guys have been watching Vigilante Effect. And uh, peace.